I'm Joanna Bergström, and together with Jared Knipp, Henning Paul, and Casper Hornback, we studied the possible links between the sense of agency and user experience. ACI researchers have measured the sense of control with both objective and subjective measures to evaluate user interfaces. Objective paradigms have showed promise by quantifying differences between UIs. For example, the sense of agency is greater when tapping the skin than when tapping a button. Midair interactions and haptics also increase our sense of agency, while increased system automation and speech interfaces decrease our sense of agency. However, the objective measures of sense of agency are hard to integrate in ACI experiments due to their task type and time demands. Subjective measures provide an attractive alternative to objective measures. They are based on questionnaires about the experience control, which are easy to use after any interactive task. However, it is unclear what these subjective measures show about the sense of control in HEI. How do they relate to objective measures? And how do they relate to other measures of user experience? To understand the links between the measures better, we study in two experiments whether interactions with known differences in objectively measured sense of control also differ in experience control and in other factors of user experience. This first experiment is our prior work on the sense of agency with a button, touchpad, and on skin input presented at CHI 2018. The purpose of this experiment was to show the differences of these three input styles in the sense of agency with an objective measure. The measure we used for sense of agency in our study is called intentional binding. It builds on the phenomena that the perceived time interval between intentional actions and their outcomes is shorter than the actual time interval. For example, when a person presses a button which causes a beep after a short time interval, it is likely that the action is perceived to have happened later and the beep earlier than they actually did. The method used to measure intentional binding is called Liebet clock. In our Liebet clock experiment, the participants report time based on a clock face they see on desktop display. Depending on the experiment condition, they report the time at which then they took an action, that is an input uh, on the button, the skin and the touchpad, or the time of the outcome, that is a beep sound, sound shortly after their input. The procedure of the uh, experiment was to press a foot switch to start the clock, then performing input with one of the interfaces, perceiving the output beep sound, and recording the time at which either the action or the output was perceived to happen. We had 24 participants in this within subject experiment. We recorded four measures, which were the actual action times, the input, the perceived action times, which the participants reported from the clock, the actual outcome times, the beep sounds, and perceived outcome times, which participants also reported from the clock. The intentional binding in milliseconds was then calculated based on how much closer a participant perceives the action and outcomes occurring than what they in reality do. Our results on intentional binding show that first, there is an increased sense of agency with skin input compared to both touchpad and button input. Second, we did not find a difference in intentional binding between button and touchpad input. Together, these findings imply that the increased sense of agency was caused by using the body instead of a device for input. We also replicated earlier findings on a difference between skin and button input. The intentional binding values in milliseconds in our experiment also correspond to those uh, in earlier studies. The purpose of the second experiment was to understand whether and how interfaces that provide different levels of sense of control with objective measures differ in subjective measures of the sense of control and other factors of user experience. To study these two questions, we use the same three input styles from experiment one, skin, touchpad, and button input. In experiment one, the task was to tap the input device and observe the Liebeck clock. Therefore, the input in the task is binary tapping. Here, we had two requirements for the task. First, it needed to use uh, only the same 
binary input. Second, it needed to allow us to measure user experience with a variety of questionnaires. UX cannot be measured when the leap at clock itself is the task. Therefore, we chose a game as the task. The task in the game was to shoot at passing targets, similarly than in uh, Space Invader. We had 42 participants in this within subject study, controlling the game with the three input devices and answering this questionnaire consisting of the attractive, Umux Lite and NASA TLX questionnaires to measure factors of user experience, as well as questions about the subjective experience of agency. In experiment one, the skin showed higher sense of agency compa uh, in comparison with both the touchpad and the button. Here in experiment two, we see a similar difference between skin and touchpad than in experiment one. First, we find an, incre in, an increase in the subjective sense of control with on-skin input over touchpad input, measured by the questioner items related to control. Second, we find a significant difference in the hedonic quality of on-skin input. Together, these findings suggest that the increased sense of control with skin input spills over into both the experience control and user experience. However, between the skin and the button, the results are less clear. In experiment one, the skin showed higher sense of agency in comparison to the button. Here, in experiment two, None of the questions about the sense of control reflect that. The second question, in fact, shows a higher score for the button. The button also scored higher in pragmatic quality and in Unix light. One possible source of influence on this is that the participants performed slightly better in the game task with the button. The findings from our two experiments therefore suggests that implicit sense of control influences explicit sense of control, such as we saw in the comparison of skin and touchpad. However, other factors of user experience appear to moderate this influence, such as we saw in the comparison of skin and button. One of those factors may be perceived performance. Therefore, subjective measures appear to reflect the sense of control measured with obje objective measures, but the observations based solely on subjective measures might be heavily influenced by other factors of UX, such as task performance. Thank you for attending my talk.